What's up guys? My name is Gabby and welcome to another video from The Guy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to watch this video. So, if you watched my last video, you know that one of my mentors, um, coaches, the person who got me started uh, in speech actually passed away um, uh, two weeks ago, I believe it is now. And this weekend we actually celebrated her life. Um, and I was having a conversation with someone about my channel and they actually suggested that I do a video uh, talking about grief for college students. Um, I was not planning on making this video at all. The thought had never crossed my mind. And when they said it, I was like, oh my God, this is like perfect. Uh, for a lot of us, we have our first brushes with um, death and losing someone and our even our own mortality um, during high school and college and college can be a, a great place to kind of deal with those issues and it can also be a very very bad place uh, to deal with those issues so that's what I'm going to be talking about today in this video so if you are interested please go ahead and keep watching do not forget to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe and join the family. But let's hop right in. Like I mentioned before, um, I lost my mentor and my coach um, a few weeks ago. And it was really the second big blow to me. Um, thankfully, I haven't lost a parent or um, a sibling or anything like that. You know, anyone that's super um close to me or you know blood biologically related um however uh, during my sophomore year of undergrad i lost someone and then now this um and it was my second big blow as far as dealing with death and dealing with um you know all the feelings that come along with that and when you're on a college campus, it could be great because there's a lot of resources that are available to us um, as students. Uh, a lot of it comes included with our tuition where we're able to go and talk to someone, go see a counselor if we need it. Um, however, there are a lot of bad things um, that can occur while you're on a college campus and you're dealing with grief. And one of those things is um, whether you're 21 or not, let's be honest, everybody, like, keep it real, you guys know I keep it real. Um, whether you're 21 or not, alcohol, drugs, um, all those types of things are readily available to you on college campuses, no matter how much we would like to believe it's not, and that, you know, it's just not there, it is. Um, being at ISU... There is actually like a liquor store probably on every corner or if you can't get liquor store at an actual liquor store you can go on CVS and get liquor like liquor is everywhere and when people are dealing with loss when they're dealing with grief I've seen it a lot actually um, have seen it recently um, with some of the people that I'm close to alcohol becomes your friend when you're dealing with grief when you've lost someone it's very easy to go and get um, a bottle of wine or you know uh, a drink at a bar and let that kind of soothe you instead of actually dealing with your feelings um, about the issue not just alcohol but drugs included ecstasy uh, sassafras um, smoking and not just smoking weed, kind of layering um, whatever the drug is and taking it to kind of uh, take the edge off, as people would say. That becomes super duper problematic because you drink, you take the drugs, and then you're high, and then when the high wears off, you still feel the pain from grieving and losing that person. So for a lot of people, especially students of color, because um, there is a huge stigma for students of color who um, are going to receive counseling or are dealing with 
mental issues. We don't go and get the help that we need. We don't use the resources that are available to us. So for a lot of us, we start to turn to alcohol and drugs as a way to um, kind of ease whatever issues it is that we're having. So back to what I was saying, you're high, right? You're drunk or you know, you're high off whatever drug that you've taken. And once that goes away, that pain creeps back in. And then the next thing you wanna do is go get your next high or go get your next fix to kind of feel that void that you're feeling since losing that person. And that's when it becomes an addiction. That's when it becomes a serious problem. And you kind of get stuck in this like endless cycle of drugs and alcohol and being unhappy and doing stupid stuff. Because let's be honest, when you're drunk or when you are high off of something, nine times out of ten, you will do stupid things. Just saying, that's the truth. Hey. So, you have those types of people where they become party animals or they decide that drinking and drugs is the way to go to deal with their grief instead of using the resources that are available to them or just dealing with the issues that come along with grieving, dealing with the issues that come along with losing someone that you love that was important to you. Um, while some people do not turn to alcohol and drugs, you do have individuals who tend to retreat to themselves. Um, they don't talk to anyone about what's going on with them. Um, they have no support system and they kind of just block out whatever it is that they're feeling. And while some would argue this is way healthier than um, turning to alcohol and drugs, that can also be an issue. Because if you never deal with grief, if you never deal with what you're feeling with, if you never process those feelings, then it can easily come up in other parts of your life. You think that you're done with it and you're actually not. You think that you're okay and you're not. Um, and then it comes up later and becomes a huge problem in, you know, another part of your life and you're trying to figure out why. And it's because you've never processed those feelings. You kind of just tucked them away and acted like everything was okay. And then you have the people like me who instead of dealing with their feelings or actually coming to terms with what's happened, we tend to... Um, try to make sure everyone else is okay so we can deflect from what's going on with us and I know I definitely had to have a conversation with myself over the last few weeks and kind of telling myself that's great you want to make sure everyone else is okay you're worried about everyone else but you need to make sure that you are okay as well um, so those people who are kind of avoiders uh, and they want to care for everyone else instead of caring for themselves, that can also be unhealthy as well. So you definitely want to watch out for those three things. One, alcohol and drugs, definitely not the way to go, but when you are in college, because it's so accessible, it's really easy to fall into. Two, those people who completely shut down after losing someone. Um, you have to talk to someone. You have to have some sort of support system. Um, it's okay to take time to talk um, and take some time to yourself, but you have to have time to process it. Don't just shut all of your feelings down. And three, those people who like to avoid by caring for other people, you are just like me. That's also unhealthy and problematic. You want to make sure that you are okay first because if you are not okay, you cannot properly care for the people around you. College is one of the hardest times to lose someone and have to deal with grief. You're already stressed out because of school. There's an assignment after assignment after assignment due. Um, you're away from home, you're away from, you know, the support system that you are used to having in everything that you know. Um, and the things that usually take us out are readily available to us. But the good thing about being in school is there are resources 
available to you. Research, find out what those resources are and use them. You're paying thousands of dollars in tuition, people. You might as well use what they are charging you for. So if there's counselors at your school, if there's a support group at your school, go and use those resources because they're going to be huge for you um, as you process and grieve um, and start to deal with those feelings after losing someone. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'm trying to keep my video short and sweet because they've been real long lately. It is a problem, but it's okay. Anywho guys, I will see you guys on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and there's like a little bell that you guys should click on the side of the video that way you will be notified every time I have a new video so you won't ever have to wonder okay did she post a video it will come straight to you and let you know so please go ahead and click that bell like subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one bye